everyone, welcome to weekly vlog 42. I don't feel very good today. So it is Tuesday the 21st of November, I nearly said October. It is not a nice day, like considering how gloomy it is outside, outside that window, it is very bright on camera. But it's horrible out there. But anyway, um, yeah, it's about half two on Tuesday. Um, it's Matthew's last day off today. If you watched last week, then you'll have seen we had four days off together. Uh, we haven't done too much. Yesterday I was doing the weekly vlog most of the day. And then we did go out to Asda briefly and we had like a Costa, just like a drink. I didn't record because it was literally like seven o'clock at night when we went out. Because I've been doing the weekly vlog all day and I didn't actually feel very good and I don't feel very good today. So I don't need to go into detail because I'm sure you'll know what I mean if you're a female but it's that time of the month and I feel quite ill, like very ill. Um, Yeah, it's just a really bad one this month. I just feel horrible. So uh, Matthew has gone out. He needed to go and pick something up. He'd ordered into a shop. And then he's just going to call into his mams. The plan was today that we were going to go out and do what he's doing now together. But uh, yeah, I just don't feel very good. Like, I'm so lethargic. I feel so crappy. Um, I'm just going to actually get into bed and watch Disney Descendants. Like I've just made myself a cup of tea. I've done a few things. Like I've put some washing in and I'm trying to be active. Um, I would really love to sit and do some blog posts at the computer. But you know what? I told, I said, I told myself today that I was having today off. I've put some lunch in the oven and I'm going to get into bed and watch Disney Descendants and just have the day off. In the back of my head, now I'm thinking I should be doing blog posts. I should be doing this. I should be doing that. But the point of me not going out with Matthew and his mum is because I don't feel good. So I don't feel good. I'm going to get into bed. I'm going to have a really lazy day. I've got a massive jumper on <laughs> and I'm just going to have a really nice cozy little snuggle in bed and watch Disney Descendants and then I might watch some Walking Dead. I'm literally just gonna have the world's laziest day because I need it because I just don't feel very good. I mean I've been doing emails and stuff because I always do like on my phone and I've got loads to do tomorrow but today I am going to do nothing. So I've got myself a cup of tea, I've got the computer out, like the laptop out to watch Descendants. I'm gonna get into bed and I'll speak to you guys in a bit. it's the next day um i think i spoke to you yesterday oh i'm so breath and so warm um i didn't feel very good yesterday truth be told i still don't feel very good today you ladies will know what i'm talking about so yeah um i don't feel very good still but i really had to get this well wanted to get this disney store merchandise haul done so i'm sorry i haven't spoken to you before now but um yeah i just didn't feel very good it took me a while to get ready and then by the time i actually got up here to film it was getting on quite a bit so i just started filming and i've literally just remembered like oh my goodness the weekly vlog i haven't even said hello so hi uh yeah i've just recorded this disney merchandise haul this box is honestly overflowing it's all over the bed i don't know if you can see it's all behind there oh where is it all over here and it's all on the floor that was a huge merchandise haul like i hope i came across as grateful as i am but i just don't feel good um i hope it's okay i'm a bit worried i don't like to film when i don't feel good so yeah i don't know i just don't know how i feel about how that went oh my the battery's dying but it just took so long to film and i was getting very tired and i don't feel good anyway i'm also very warm again you ladies will know what i'm talking about when it's that time so yeah um i got it filmed it's all done and i was gonna do another video today but truth be told i just don't feel good and matthew's home from work so i think i'm just gonna tidy up a little bit and then go downstairs and chill and then i'll get this edited tomorrow so this should be up uh, the Disney haul should be up by the time you guys watch this weekly vlog. So yeah, um, I really just want to get this Maldol out. In fact, I think I'm going to get this Maldol out and play with her and stuff. I know that sounds weird, but yep. Um, so yeah, I can finally get this stuff around the house. But I'm going to go and sit down for a bit first and have a bit of a chill just because I'm really warm and a bit knackered. So uh, yeah, I don't really know what I'm doing for the rest of the night. This has probably been a really boring day. The battery died while I was talking to you. Typical. But yeah, let's head downstairs and um, just chill for a little bit. I'm going to have to change my jumper. I'm so warm. Uh, yeah. That's basically it. <laughs> yeah, so I really want to get her out of the box and just play with her. Weird, I don't know. But yeah, so I'm just going to try and get a picture. I'm starting to lose my voice now. I'm going to try and get a picture taken in this jumper and then I'm going to head downstairs. Matthew just made me some meatball spaghetti. I thought you were going to say Matthew just made me watch... Made me put, what's it called? Santa Claus on. Oh no, and we've put the Santa Claus on because technically it's only like 
six or seven days till December, so we're gonna watch the Santa Claus because I can't wait any longer. And I'm excited. I think it's too early. It's not. I just made me and Matthew cake in a cup because I'm a genius. It won't focus on my creation. Hey guys, it's a little bit later. Me and Matthew had dinner. Um, I really didn't feel very good before dinner, but I feel okay now. So I don't know what that was about. Maybe I was just really hungry. And I made us cake in a cup. I think I tried to show you, but um, the camera was not focusing. But anyway, um, I'm really tired and it's really late. It's like coming up 11 o'clock or something. I don't know, it's after 10. Um, so I'm gonna get into bed and Matthew's going to bed because he's got work tomorrow. Um, Matthew's had his four days off and he was back at work today and he's back at work tomorrow, so. Yeah, I'm gonna go to bed because I'm going through to Newcastle tomorrow with my sister or at least that's the plan we shall see oh by the way I painted my nails with like this nail varnish I got from Boots the other day like some Barry M it's like pink and then sparkly purple I don't know if that's focusing but it's like pink it's called popsicle from Barry M and then this sparkly purple so this is two days and it hasn't chipped yet so I'm very impressed but anyway, uh, yeah, I'm going to go to bed because I'm hopefully going to town tomorrow with my sister. I'm going to try and get up early and edit this Disney haul and get it up tomorrow night. So hopefully I should be able to do that. Uh, and yeah, I'm going to go to bed. So got a busy day tomorrow and I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good night. Hey, Boone. I know you're having breakfast, but I thought you might want to meet this, this doll. Do you like her? Uh, and he's not interested. Who is this? You don't like her too much then. Morning guys, by the way. If you can hear weird noise in the background, it's the kettle. But uh, I opened my Maldor last night. I really, really like her. She even has like the coloured heels like in the movie. I don't know why the camera's not focusing on her. It wants to focus on the bone. But yeah, I really like it. So, uh, focus. Yeah, she's really pretty. Our fringe is cut a little bit squinty in places. But she was the last one in the store, so I'm glad I got her. I just need to get Evie now. <laughs> The bun doesn't seem too interested. Hey guys, it is the next day. I definitely think I spoke to you last night, but I really can't remember to be honest. Um, so it's Thursday, although I keep thinking it's Friday. Um, it's actually quite a bit later in the day. I, I think last night I said that I was supposed to go out to the shops today with my sister, but I am so snowed under with work. Like I've been at the computer all day. Like you can't tell, I don't think. But there is stuff all around me, like on the floor, all of the desk. Like it's Black Friday tomorrow, so I have a lot of Black Friday offers um, that I need to like promote as a blogger, kind of sort of thing. Like I don't need to, but I want to. Like that's the point in being like I can't explain it. Like nobody's paying me to promote anything, but I feel like it's my duty to find the best offers out there for you guys with regards to clothes and. Disney and stuff like that and like makeup and things and then put it all over my Instagram so I've been doing that today. I'm also trying to sort out a new phone because this one's an absolute mess so with it being Black Friday tomorrow I want to find myself some Black Friday deals as well. So I've been spending the day doing emails and um, blog posts, editing, um, oh, I've just got so much to do. And my sister's the same, she runs businesses as well so she's getting her stores ready for Black Friday, I'm getting my Etsy ready for Black Friday, although I say I'm getting it ready, I haven't even started doing my own stuff yet. It's all over the place, it's just bris, it's everywhere. So I'm just a bit snowed under today, um, I've just got a lot to do and to be honest I'm probably going to be here another good few hours, like Matthew's just got in from work and he's going to make the dinner and I'm probably going to be here all night. I've just got a lot to do so I didn't end up going out to the shops. Um, my sister was busy too with her like stores. I do have um, Descendants on there on the laptop. You can't see it's out of shot, but I've got Descendants on as per usual. Um, yeah, I've just got a lot to do. Um, so I apologise that I didn't go to the shops like I said I would, and I apologise I haven't really recorded. But I just really need to get a lot of stuff done. So hopefully tomorrow will be more interesting. I'll get back to you guys in a little bit, but right now I'm going to get on with some work. Morning guys, it's the next morning. I am really sorry that this week has been really just boring with regards to me saying I'm really busy, I'm really busy, but unfortunately I am really busy. I'm also back in this nighty. I absolutely love this nighty. I spilled salsa on it last night though. Also, I really need a new dressing gown. Like you might if you've been like watching me for long enough, you'll know that I had a zebra dressing gown and 
I used to wear it all the time and this is actually Matthew's dressing gown like I would not wear this dressing gown if it wasn't Matthew's like it's so like not me at all and I feel like it's in all of my videos and I don't think about it and it's like oh I do apologize that this week my videos have been really like I'm just at the computer or I don't feel very good like I feel a bit better I still don't feel good it's literally just a bad time of the month this month if that makes sense I don't want to go into detail but for the 14% of my followers that are boys I am sorry when they say like when you're younger like oh your periods will get better when you're older no no they won't mine are horrific but anyway I'm not going to go into detail because that's weird but I just haven't felt very good this week um with regards to that but I mean everything's okay I'm just really busy this week I've just got so much to do and I'm back in London next week so I need to like make sure I'm on top of things but anyway because this week's been so rubbish and I just haven't really been able to do much with years like I haven't even been out the house I haven't done anything I thought I would open a package with you guys so I received a really cool package from a lovely girl and I thought I would show you it and open it i always say that you guys do not have to send me anything like honestly you just don't have to send me anything the rabbit is chewing the box that is down there so if you can hear noises then it is the rabbit loads of people say to me do you have a p.o box i can't afford a p.o box p.o boxes are 30 pound a month i can't afford 30 pound a month honestly one you don't have to and two like i can't really hand my address out to like that many people online i'm sure you understand it's not very safe um so three I should set up a PO box, but one, <laughs> this is getting confusing. Um, I feel a bit like weird setting up a PO box and two, I literally cannot afford it. Like I would love to set it up so that it was a safe way for you guys to send me things, even though honestly you just don't have to, but because of the amount of people that ask, um, yeah, I just can't afford to set one up. They are expensive. I've looked into like cheaper PO boxes and like city ones and things. They always have bad reviews and seem really dodgy. And the last thing I want is to set up a PO box for you guys to send me things. And then the company's really dodgy and I never receive the stuff or they steal them. Like honestly, it's just not good. So you just don't have to send me anything. And there's a little note inside as well. I literally was not expecting this package. So the little note comes on these like little princess tag baubles. How cute is that? And it says, Dear Sarah, this is a Christmas surprise box for you. I'm, Hi I think it's Hi Heike, Heidi from Germany. I'm really sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. And I'm a huge fan of your weekly vlog since April. Thank you so much. I love so much Disney and Primark as you. Merry Christmas and a happy new year to you. Honestly, you just don't have to send me anything, but that's really, really generous. And I really don't know how to pronounce your name. I don't know if it's Heike or Heidi. I'm really sorry. So she also sent me another envelope with some empty princess tags so they're really cool i'm so gonna use them on christmas presents christmas presents for me like i received so much last week from disney store you just really don't have to send me anything i didn't even deserve all that stuff from disney store like seriously you never ever have to send me anything we're all getting the christmas mood together she's literally wrapped them all up as well like honestly you didn't have to do this so i'm guessing this is all like disney stuff from germany which is really cool so the first thing is what are these stick it oh wow okay so the first thing is two packets of 3d stickers one is mickey and one is mini oh my god these look so like expensive like you really didn't have to get me these like honestly like guys please don't spend your money on me so how cool is that it's like 3d stickers and there's a mickey set and a mini set how cool is that? This really cool notebook. This is definitely not available in this country. I haven't seen this before. So it's like a holographic kind of moving notebook and it's got Belle on there with Mrs. Potts and Chip. How cute is that? Thank you so much. Can we just talk about the fact that I painted my nails on Monday night and they haven't chipped? I'm not even joking. Like I don't, I, I love having painted nails. Absolutely love it, but I never do it because they chip and I hate chipped nails. I hate it so much. Like if you have chipped nails, honestly, it's fine. But on me, it just annoys the heck out of me. Like I hate it. So when I went and bought um, some more foundation the other day in Boots, I think on Monday night with Matthew, I um, it was three for two. So I picked up some nail varnishes and I just painted them on Monday night after like lying in bed watching Descendants, what else? And yeah, they haven't chipped since Monday. I am so impressed. I have an event next week in London and I bet you out the chip loads on Monday and then I end up going to this event with horrible nails. So I'm hoping that they just don't chip until like after Tuesday or they chip way before that so I can sort it out. Oh my god, everything is like properly like princess paper wrapped. Like I feel so lucky right now. I am literally getting spoiled and it's not even Christmas yet. What is my life? I always feel really wrong opening these. Like what gives me the right to open Christmas presents early? 
or presents at all like I just feel like I, I don't deserve them when people send me things I just feel really like I shouldn't be opening these I don't deserve these but I have to try and remember that this is I'm doing it with you guys now so you are here you're just not here right now if that makes sense so we're all opening them together I can't explain it but <gasps> oh my god oh my god it is oh I'm obsessed with notebooks at the minute like I have way too many and I don't even care so look at this it's so nice seeing merchandise from other countries I love it how cute is that and it's got my girl on the front there how nice is it and then it's got this green piece of elastic oh my god I love it so much like seriously I feel really wrong right now like oh I don't know I just feel weird opening these like oh I don't deserve these like how much money have you spent on me like oh my god like guys you don't have to do this you have a Primark in Germany that's so cool okay so she sent me the Primark Slytherin keyring that's so cool I actually don't have this I seen it when I was in London last it's never been in my store and I think I just bought so much that day in London I was like I need to stop but now somebody's bought it for me oh my god guys you don't have to buy me anything and it's like you proper know me as well i'm getting emotional it's happening oh my god look at this it's a little stocking and it hangs and it's got presents in it oh my god i'm so christmasy right now oh my god i wonder if she made this or if, if she bought it either way it's really cute oh my god so i've just pulled out this and it says for mr bun the rabbit oh look that is so cute look it's for the burn can you see that it's for the burn hello what are you doing i've got a present for you come here oh no not that eat off stop it here what's this no get off the camera mr bun no look Ooh. do you want to open it are you trying to open it all right let's get it open Yeah. What's this? <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, look. Ah, look. What's this? What is it? Does that look tasty? You just want the paper, don't you? Should we get one out and go and put it on your tree? Oh, okay. Never mind. He just ripped it out of my hands. Ooh. Do they look tasty? Do you want one? Hey? Oh! Mr. Bun! Okay, somebody's getting a little bit excitable, aren't you? Do you want to put one on your tree? Hey? Oh, thank you so much. He loves these. He loves things like this. He absolutely loves them. Oh, thank you so much, honestly. Ah, thank you. Say thank you. Say thank you. You naughty. Get off. Should we open it up and have a look? Do you want to have a look? Ooh. Ooh, what's that? What's that? Mmm, is that nice? Is that tasty? Oh, I think he likes it. I've got a present. Yeah. I'll put that on there for you then. I know you're supposed to hang it and you'll get like you'll eat some of it and then in a few minutes you'll probably stop and I'll hang it downstairs for him and he can have the rest later. Ooh, he likes it. That's from Germany? That's all the way from Germany for you? Do you like it? You've stopped. Do you want me to put it downstairs? Clean your eye. Come here. All right. All right. Come here. Boom. Thank you so much. So my Christmas packaging for my breasts just arrived and honestly, I'm so excited. I went for gold and red and I'm honestly in love i haven't folded up a box yet so when i do i'll show you it and like show you it all properly i'll probably be doing that later so much to get on with and time is like really getting on like it's probably after 10 and i just got loads to do today i'm not sure if i'm going out later i really don't know um i haven't even been out today and i already have the primark cogsworth and the primark 
um, chip backpack. Primark released Cogsworth and chip backpack in stores today. Um, make sure you follow me on Instagram because I announced it and everything. But um, yeah, so my Auntie Lynn works in town. So she went to Newcastle this morning and picked us up both a Cogsworth and she got me the bag. I wasn't going to get the bag when I seen it. I was like is that weird is that creepy but then like the more pictures i'm seeing of it i'm like you know what it actually looks like a good size and i would totally use that every day just because i've done a disney store haul by the way doesn't mean that i'm not still doing my monthly disney haul i'm still doing that because i've bought loads of disney things this month other than all the disney store things that i got last week i'm gonna stop blabbing because i've got loads to get on with i will get back to you guys in a bit hey guys i don't know if it looks any different but it is actually now pitch black outside and i've been at the computer all the live long day. I literally can't even see the screen on the camera at the minute. Like my eyes are that crazy. And we'll go downstairs and do it tidying. really quickly just show you is what I'm making me and Matthew for dinner because loads of people surprisingly always ask like what types of meals me and Matthew have um so yeah I've just finished doing like the tidy and like all the cleaning and everything and I've just made the dinner um I thought I'd already done a lot of time lapses of me cleaning so I didn't really time lapse me cutting up vegetables but basically we've got some white potatoes peeled and chopped and I'm gonna make mash and I use soy milk and um dairy free butter in the potatoes to make it like mash and it's very tasty i have two broccoli stems and um, we're also going to have so we're also going to have sweet corn and there is butter beans under there as well so i'll stick them in the pan just a few minutes before um the broccoli and potatoes are done because they don't need as long so we're having full veg uh gravy which this is the gravy that i use it's just from asda it's got like no dairy or anything in it and you just put hot water in so i don't know if you can see the ingredients there but it's got soy in it instead of like milk and then in the oven we have these sausages these are mine and Matthew's absolutely favourites. I absolutely love these. There's two types of uh, the Linda McCarthy sausages. I can't remember what the other one's called, rosemary and something, but I like these ones. But these are actually um, suitable for vegans, so like no dairy and stuff like that, uh, or no egg. And these are honestly delicious. So we are having sausages, four veg, and gravy, and that's what we're having tonight. that is mine and Matthew's dinner. So as you can see Matthew's is quite a bit bigger than mine. He has four sausages and I've done way too much broccoli. There's still like a good portion of broccoli in the pan um, so Matthew can have it tomorrow or something I don't know. But yeah so this is our dinner. I have gravy. Matthew doesn't really like gravy too much and I cover mine in salt and pepper and I put a little bit of salt on Matthew's and a tiny bit of pepper and he has mustard on the side of his dinner like this. I don't really want mustard, I like gravy. But yeah, that's our dinner. So full veg, some soy sausages, and then gravy on mustard. And I am very hungry, so if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna eat my dinner. Good morning. Are you enjoying your breakfast? That's very tasty. <laughs> morning guys, it's Saturday morning. I'm sorry I didn't um, like finish the vlog last night. I don't really know what happened. I guess I was tired from the computer all day. So I think I'm gonna be editing a bit, but I'm not sure. I've spent a lot of days at the computer. So I'm gonna get in the bath and have sparkly pump sparkly? sparkly pumpkin um, and watch a movie. Matthew is at work this morning. Is that a piece of hay honestly? So yeah Matthew's at work so I've had a bit of a chilled morning. I woke up and I was just like I can't go straight to editing. I've had a lot of time on the computer the last few days so I'm happy with my progress and I'm gonna have the morning off and I'm gonna have a bath and I don't know what movie I'm gonna watch but yeah so I'm just gonna get on with having a nice bath.
Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good tidings we bring to you and your kin. Good tidings for Christmas and a Happy New Year. Me and, me and Matthew, well, I can't remember the last time I spoke to you was, Matthew was here, um, but we're at Metro Centre. Um, I did speak to you this morning, I know I did, but we came out to Metro Centre, um, we've not been in many places, I had to pick up something from Kath Kidson, something from the Mickey range, um, but I had a quick look in Disney store, which I know I filmed, have we been anywhere else? Been in Primark a little bit, and we've just been into Costa, and we're just kind of sat outside the Tree of Light now, which is really pretty, I'll show you it. So this is the magical tree of light that is in Metro Centre. It's absolutely huge. It was here last year as well, but I don't know if these were. Like, they make it bigger every year, so it's really pretty. But we're just sat here while I was editing a photo that I just took next to it. And we're going to go around my nana's now. So I need to pick up some things from my nana's. Um, just some things that my auntie's picked up for us from Primark, and they're at my nana's. And then we're probably just going to go home. Watch a, watch, I say watch a bed. We're gonna go home and watch a movie in bed. Aren't we? Yeah. The escalators are starting to go off now. I think we should move. <laughs> we're gonna go home. Well, we're gonna go with Nana's and then we're gonna go home. It's pretty dead in here now because it's closed like, I don't know, maybe 15 minutes ago. Apart from like the cinema and the food. But, um, oh, is that mistletoe? You have to, you have to smooch the camera. I was just telling them that this um, Thompson, well it's called two now, there's like holidays playing on here all the time and me and Matthew were stood staring at it for ages before, weren't we? Because <laughs> we haven't had a holiday in a long time. You want to smooch? I can't put that on the camera because that's just a bit too much. <laughs> this is the other area around Metro Centre that's all like lit up. Like a curtain, isn't it? I wonder how long that took to put up. It's really nice though. And then they have the nativity scene, which they have here every year because a lot of people don't know but Metro Centre is owned by the church. Is it still owned by the church? No, I don't think so. Oh, is it not anymore? Oh, well. Oh, no, it's owned by Into now. It used to be owned by the church. And then there's this giant tree. I do like the decorations in Metro Centre. I feel like they really go out of the way, don't they? Like, they're really nice. And there's Primark. But never. Eh? Were they here on the way in? Were you last time we were here? I think so. I remember them. Christmas pudding cookie. Oh my god, they smell good. Yes, but this, if you ever come to Metro Centre, this Primark's not very good for Disney, but it's still a good Primark. They have quite a big jeans section. I'm just getting Kirby a biscuit. Nice. Ooh, they're nice. Oh. Now, one more, and then we have to go. Hey guys, me and Matthew have not long gotten in from the shops. And um, we were just downstairs watching a little bit of Impractical Jokers and um, just seeing the rabbit for a bit but I'm absolutely knackered now so I'm going to get to bed. I'm not sure what we're doing tomorrow but Matthew has the whole day off which will be nice. Did you just hear my belly rumble? Did you hear that? That was weird. Anyway, so yeah, we're going to get to bed now and I'll catch you guys in the morning. And I'm very much looking forward to having a lie in with Matthew because I can't remember the last time I had one. Oh my god, that sun is so bright. What the heck? 
Anyway, um, okay, uh, it is the next day, it's Sunday, good morning. I have come back to my Nana's because Matthew left his mobile here. So Matthew actually doesn't feel very good. We really had a really nice morning and um, we had like a nice lie in and I made us breakfast in bed. Um, but ma now he isn't feeling very good and uh, he has a lot of work to do because his next day off isn't a day off, he's actually on a training course. So Matthew's staying in the house while he's got some work to do and he's not feeling great. And I've come back to my Nana's to get his mobile and i'm not sure if i'm gonna go for a walk with me nana like with the dog or if we're gonna go for food i don't really know i also need to go to asda because we didn't do it last night so i'm not really sure what's going on but i've come back to me nana's to get matthew's mobile because he left it here he reckons that i left it here even though it's his mobile but i'm gonna go back into me nana's so i've gotten back from me nana's so it turns out that me nana's actually busy and she um she had she was out with the dog so i knocked on the door and the dog wasn't even barking and i was like she's gone out with the dog so i can't exactly go out for a walk with her uh, she came in like two seconds later like i had my key and then it turns out she's making dinner for her and her friend so i was only there 10 minutes and then matthew met me at asda and we just did a weekly shop so we just got in from asda i just thought i'd matthew i just thought i'd update this but i just found these christmas tree cr crumpets so we are actually about to have these which is technically a really late lunch. I can't believe it's five past four and I've, all I've had is breakfast. Like, I'm dying. I'm so hungry. So we're going to have these for some lunch. Um, yeah. They just look really good. They were just, like, in a random place, weren't they? There was, like, no more of them. I don't even know how much they were. They can't have been that much. But we're going to have these and have a cup of tea. I just made me and Matthew some enchiladas. But Matthew likes to put them out because then he likes to claim that he's made them. Don't you? Oh, that's a lie. <laughs> you do or if i make food and you stir the pan you say that's it i've made them rubbish. <laughs> and look at my slippers that i've just got out of my disney store box that's not a slipper that's a giant foot these are the ones i got from disney store and they're actually only 16.99 which i thought was good price they're really squishy i really like them i'm feeling very christmasy now what we're gonna watch no, we're gonna watch Jingle all the way. Or do you want to watch Home Alone? A Nightmare Before Christmas. Nightmare Before Christmas. I feel like Nightmare Before Christmas isn't Christmassy enough for how Christmas I, Christmassy I feel. Even though you haven't seen it. Okay. Yeah, but it's also a Halloween movie, so. Um, I wanna watch either Home Alone 2 or Jingle all the way. Or do you want to watch it? <laughs> I don't really want to watch either of them. Mummy, why not? <laughs> but you said I could watch Jingle all the way if I... What did I do? Oh, I watched one of your physio videos, so I get to watch Jingle all the way. Okay. We're going to watch Jingle all the way and eat our enchiladas. Hey guys, it's a little bit later. It's actually... 25 to 11 um i didn't want to time lapse me matthew just sat on the sofa because i feel like this week's been a lot of time lapses like i just feel like all i've really done this week is either work in my spare room like at the computer or tidy or make dinner like i apologize if this week's been really boring and i know i say that every week and people are always like oh we you know we don't mind it's your life it's normal but i still feel like i should apologize because Sometimes I watch weekly vlogs and I just feel they're much more interesting than mine. So me and Matthew sat down to watch Jingle All The Way and Matthew was scrolling and he couldn't find it. And then on Netflix, we came across Star Wars, The Force Awakens. So The Force Awakens, Star Wars, that makes no sense. I'm very tired. The Star Wars Force Awakens was on Netflix. It's brand new, just uploaded. And it's obviously because the new one comes out in like just over two weeks. So I was like, oh my God, like since that came out two years ago, I've only seen it twice. So once at the pictures and then once at home once when we managed to get it downloaded. So I was like, oh my God, let's watch that. We both really wanted to watch it and we watched that. So we just watched Star Wars. So that's why it's quite a bit later because it's quite a long movie. It's like over two hours. So yeah, that's basically what we did. We would literally just sat on the sofa my makeup's all coming off. I'm absolutely knackered. I can't keep my eyes open. So I apologise. This week's been a bit boring, but it's just the way it's been, kind of. Although I will really quickly show you this guy. Ta-da! I got my Cogsworth. So when I went to my Auntie Lynn's yesterday and picked up some stuff, she had bought me some things from Primark. Um, like, I give her the money for things and she picks them up because obviously I don't get into town as much. Like, I used to go into town a lot when I was at uni, but I'm not now. So my auntie helps me. 
and she picked up Cogs Cog I can't even say it. She picked up Cogsworth for me. So how cute is he? She also picked me up the chip backpack, but he's in a bag in the spare room. Um, and the stuff that I managed to finally pick up for my nana's today that was in our car, um, I've picked up that for my nana's today. So I'm going to hopefully get my monthly Disney haul up um, next week. So even though I did a massive Disney store haul, I've still bought loads of things from, like, just Disney things. So my Disney week no wow my monthly disney haul will be getting recorded probably next thursday and go up next friday so i've got a really busy week i'm in london next week again i'm really excited i've got so much to do i've got like bracelet stuff to do i've got a design an ending and a beginning for vlogmas by the way i'm thinking of doing the whole vlogmas let me know guys do you want me to do the whole of vlogmas or do you just want to do 12 days of vlogmas like i don't mind either way i really do think i'd like to try and give vlogmas a go like the full thing because last year i just did 12 days of vlogmas because i was at uni um so yeah let me know i'm i'm thinking i'm gonna do the full vlogmas though so this will be the last weekly vlog then for this year is that right no there'll be one more surely oh i'm confused now so the first of december is next friday so yeah, that's a good point. So next week, the weekly vlog will be Monday to Thursday and it'll get uploaded on Friday. So the weekly vlog, will get uploaded on Friday and then Saturday will be the first of Vlogmas because Friday is the 1st of December and it obviously gets uploaded a, day, uploaded a day later. So I'll be starting Vlogmas on Friday and uploading Vlogmas on Saturday, next Saturday. So um, please, please watch my Vlogmas because I'm going to put loads of effort into it. And I'm still also going to upload my normal videos as well. So some days two videos will be going up. It's going to be a challenge, but I'm looking forward to it. So yeah, I'm going to try and get Vlogmas up. And then I'm not sure after, I don't know what day I'll go up to in December with Vlogmas. I'm not really sure yet. Obviously, I'll let you know as Vlogmas goes on. And then depending on how knackered I am, I'll probably maybe have a few days off after Christmas and then carry on with normal weekly vlogging depending on when the Monday falls. We'll see, but make sure you watch my vloggers to keep up with that. I'm going to stop blabbing and I'm going to get to bed because it's quite late and I've got to edit this thing tomorrow. So I will see you guys next Friday for the end of the weekly vlog and the start of Vlogmas. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're having a wonderful week and I hope you had a really nice November because this is kind of the end of November now. So yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.